Hey, welcome back. I right, today I'm sharing with you my December manis. So I started off the month with my yearly tradition that I do with Julie. This is our third year in a row that we twin on December 1st. This year we twinned with Cadillacer Enchanted Woodland, which Julie actually sent to me in 2020. She sent me a little care package and this was polish. And we twinned with this in December, 2020. And then last year we did something different. And then this year we twinned with this again. Um, just a beautiful, rich forest green. It's got those gorgeous gold flakies. And then on top, I decided to wear China Glaze Golden Enchantment, which is beautiful. And I love this normally on top of any green. But honestly, these gold, even though it's like very subtle, um, like dainty um, gold flecks, it just took away from the gold flakes. So next time I wear this, I will not wear Golden Enchantment on top. However, I did like it, but I think I would have preferred just leaving this on its own so you could see those beautiful gold flakies. Okay, then I did a twin with Lisa. We wore Holly Days, and then we wore my reflective topper called Holly Jolly, and this is just a red and green reflective topper. And this was very pretty, very sparkly and dainty. I love these um, reflective toppers because they're basically like fairy dust. They're just very fine glitter, and they give just a beautiful little twinkle, but they come in every color. They are reflective, but that's not, I mean, I don't get them, I don't make them for the reflective property. I make them just because they come in every rainbow and they're very sparkly and I, I love that. And they're soft and fine, which is what I love. Okay, then I wore my first red of the season. I wore Beezie's Lacquer Dingle Hopper. I got this. This was originally from Fandom Flaky 2020, but I got it on her website when she did a respawn. And this is so pretty. She's a beautiful red and it's got those gorgeous flakies. They shift green, they shift pink it looks like different colors but because they're kind of green shifting and then the red base i thought it was very appropriate for christmas and i really like this they're very beautiful and i'm glad i finally wore it okay then i did another twin with lisa we each wore rogue lacquers mary sprinkle mist as our topper which we got in our um, rogue lacquer advent box very blingy 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 topper really fun and then we each wore a different base i wore ko polish to the stars Looks like my only, and I wore a couple blues. Oh, I wore, actually wore quite a few blues this month. But this was my first blue that I wore intentionally thinking, oh, I need to wear blue for, you know, for December. Really, really pretty, really blingy. And I liked it. Okay, then I wore Never Naked White Christmas. This was for my Christmas collection. It's just a soft, delicate white, and it's got tiny, tiny little gold hollow and then tiny silver shreds. It's not really coming across on camera, but it's just a very soft, delicate, dainty polish. I really love this. One of my favorites from my Christmas collection. Okay, then one of my favorite manis of the month and one of my favorite manis of the year. I wore Zoya's Lucy, which is a sheer white jelly. And then sandwich in between a jelly sandwich, I wore KB Shimmer's Candy Cane Crush, one of my very favorite toppers. I wear this every year. Usually I wear this Christmas Eve going into Christmas and I will wear it over a green. Normally, it's China Glaze's um, Glittering Garland. Every now and then, I'll experiment and I'll wear it over different green. Um, I've been wearing this. This is my second bottle. I've been wearing this every year since this came out, which I believe has been, I believe it's been like 10 years since this came out. And I just, I love this. This year, I decided to do something different. So I did a jelly sandwich and this was just so beautiful. I did three layers of this, three layers of this, you know, in between the layers. So just dainty delicate just interesting really really beautiful so i'm definitely gonna wear this again next year sorry that's my puppy crying i'm definitely gonna wear this again next year but i think i might wear fairy dust on top just to kind of add a little sparkle and elevate a little bit okay then i did a twin mani with carolina we wore never naked just be claws rich red and it's got those little flakies in there beautiful sparkly flakies and then I was going to a holiday party with my husband um, for his work. And so I decided to wear a little gold bling. I wore gold by Never Naked. Um, just my gold reflective topper. I'm telling you, like, I love these reflective toppers in every shade. I have a couple more. <laughs> and I really like this. I really liked this. Okay, then I did a twin mani with Lisa. We wore Island Pea Spice Eggnog, one of my favorite Island Peas. I haven't worn it in years, so it's just a soft, nudied yellow, and then it's got tiny red flakies and 
little tiny gold flakies and it's just so pretty, so delicate. And those little flakies are just so dainty. And then on top I wore Ruby, my red reflective topper. And this was just so pretty, so soft and delicate, just had the tiniest little sparkle and I just loved it. It was just really, really pretty. Okay, then I wore Pinking of You from my Christmas collection. Beautiful, rich pink hollow. And then as my topper, I wore Finger Paints Peacock Portrait, this fun green and gold topper. Different shades of green and then there's little tiny gold, um, like tiny gold hollow, hollow glitter. I got this idea from Carolina. I had this in my Festivus rack and I was saying I wasn't quite sure how I'd wear it. And she said wearing this with pink this year is like very in. So I decided to wear this with pink. Why are you crying? Okay, then a bunch of us got together on Instagram to do a surprise for Jo from Polish Talk. She was having some you know, medical issues that she was going through and she loves pink. So we all decided to wear a pink mani in surprise for Jo. Jo's pink surprise, we called it. So I wore Restored by Polish Fight the Stigma, which is a polish that she helped create with Restored by Polish. It was for, it was a duo. I have, I have both duos um, for anxiety and depression awareness. So I thought what better polish to wear than a bright pink that she helped design. And I just thought it was really pretty. And that was a nice little tribute that we did for Joe. Okay, then I wore Cupcake Polish Jingle Jangle, which I got from November PPU. I'm so glad I picked this up. This is so interesting and beautiful. It's got your typical kind of like Christmas flakes where it's like green and gold and it shifts kind of like pinky red. But the, then it's in this really interesting kind of like black smoky charcoaly base. So pretty and unique. I loved this. I almost included it in my top of the year, but I already was going over by like at least 12 manis, it was supposed to be top 20, and I was already at like 32, and so I had to take some polishes out of my yearly favorites, but this was definitely a favorite of the year. I really, really enjoyed this. So pretty. Okay, then the Five Fabulous Friends, um, we did a, a, what would you call five? We did a five-way mani. <laughs> I'm trying to blank on what you would call that. Um, and we wore, our prompt was like a dark night sky, like something dark and um, vampy. So I wore Don't Take Flight. This was from Bluebird, Bluebird from their um, holiday advent box. This is a beautiful, rich navy blue, and it's got tons of gold flakes and then gold reflective glitter. This is very pretty, very blingy. Definitely looked like a night sky. Okay, then I wore Glam Polish Born in Blood, another red, beautiful. It's like a red jelly, it's got little black specks, which I love, and then it's got red glitters. So pretty. I liked that one. Okay, then I wore, this was a favorite Manny of last year, and I knew that I was gonna recreate it this year. I wore Ion P Christmas Cookie, which I got from my friend Laura last year. And then as my topper, I wore China Glaze Golden Enchantment. And this was just so pretty. The little flakies in this little tiny, tiny, tiny red and green metallic glitters. I don't know if they're tiny flakies or if they're tiny glitters, it's hard to tell. But just so soft and dainty and delicate. And then the gold, Golden enchantment on top was just beautiful. I love, love, love this. It's hard to get accurate or, you know, pictures that do this justice, but trust me, it's just so soft and pretty. So if you have this next time you wear it, you know, probably next year or this year, cause it's 2023 already, um, wear golden enchantment on top. You won't be disappointed. Okay, then I wore a little trio of my polishes. I wore Merry Grinchmas, which was from my Christmas collection. This Grinch hollow green. And then I wore, also from my Christmas collection, Candy Cane Sparkle, 
which is a red and white. The whites are matte, um, matte glitters, and then there's red uh, metallic glitters, and then there's a ton of silver sparkle. So pretty. And then, to be even extra, I wore um, Green Flame, which is the new flame topper that I made. And this together was very festive. Let's just put it that way. Very festive, and I liked it. Okay, then I did a triple Manny with Barb and Krista. So we wore China Glaze Ruby Pumps. Classic. You know, everyone knows Ruby Pumps. I didn't realize until I was doing my nails that my bottle is messed up and all the glitters have sunk to the bottom and I couldn't get them dispersed no matter what I did. So when I painted my nails, it was just like a very flat red, like there's no sparkle. So in order to kind of cover that up, I wore, of course, a topper and I wore Glam Polish Cold Cold Cozy Nights, which is gorgeous. I love this topper. I've been wanting to wear it since I got it. So, so beautiful. Just absolutely love. So I need to get a new bottle of Ruby Pumps. And then, I don't know, wear it on. So I haven't worn Ruby Pumps in years, to be honest. Um, this is, I think, my second bottle. My first bottle or, um, originally got you know thick and gloopy, and it was before I knew how to really restore polishes. And then I bought a new bottle and then I haven't worn it in years. So I'm not surprised that it's not the best formula anymore. But anyways, this was really, really pretty. I love this. Okay, then I did a twin mani with Barb. We got to we got together in person. We get together. We try to do it at least two times a year, but you know, I think we do it more than that though. But we try to do at least two times a year that we're gonna get together. We just meet in the middle. Um, we're like an hour-ish drive meeting in the middle. So we wore Zoya's Ryan, which I love, love this polish. I finally um, got a hold of it and I just love it. It's a rich navy, but it's got a little drop of something and it's just so beautiful. Um, I should have left it on its own because it was so pretty, but I did end up putting this on my toes because I loved it so much. But you know me, I always have to put every, you know, topper on everything. So I wore Hollow Taco's Galactic Unicorn Skin, which I had gotten from their Black Friday um, sale. Now this was beautiful, I loved it. You can't really see the shift in here, but it had a beautiful like purple shift and then there's green and then there's pink. Just so, so pretty. However, this I will say, and I don't often say this about toppers, but I will say that this kind of took away from the beautiful, beautiful undies on this, which is why I end up wearing this on my toes as well. So, so pretty. So yes, I absolutely love this. And I love this Manny. It was so good together. Like it was just beautiful. Um, but I loved this so much that I kind of wish I would have let this be the statement. So I will definitely wear this in the future. But this was fun and I love 20 with Barb and I'm going to share her picture, which thinking of it, I have to get her permission before I do that. <laughs> okay, then it was my 20th wedding anniversary. So I made myself a polish. I made cheers to 20 years which is a soft white, and then it's got gold gold, um, gold shreds, and then it's got platinum shreds. So gold and platinum for your 20th anniversary, I had to do it. And then I wore white undies. And to be honest, I didn't love it with undies. Um, I would have preferred I wear this on its own, um, but it was, I don't know, I thought it would be like, it would pop more over the white, and I just, I didn't love it. So next time I wear this, I will wear this on its own. And this is very pretty. When I showed this to my husband and I said, you know, what do you think of, you know, our polish that I made for our anniversary? He says, it's gray. Like that was his response. And so then when I wore, I put the white undies on and when I showed it to him, he looked very confused. He was like, what happened? I said, I put it on, on top of white. <laughs> he was like, oh, but anyways, cheers to 20 years. All right, then I did another Five Fabulous Friends five-way Manny. It was Nicole's birthday. So her prompt that she won for her birthday was neutral, but metallic, and then blingy, but neutral. So I did the best I could, and I wore Painted Lady, um, Metamorphosis, which is so...
so, so pretty by Cuticula. It's just this soft, neutrally gray base, and then it's got these gorgeous yellowy flakes, and then it's got little black speckles. So beautiful. And then to add just a little more sparkle, because she loves bling, I wore Hollow All The Things by Never Naked, which is my hollow topper. And this was really beautiful. I loved this. So, so pretty. All right, and then for my final mani of the month, I did a twin mani with Lisa for New Year's Eve. I had to work New Year's Eve going into New Year's. So I wore, um, I wanted something kind of sparkly and fun for work. So I wore Beezie's Lacquer. You're impossibly blasphemous. And this is just this beautiful, like black and blue, and it's got tons of silver flakes. Wow, let's hear that. There's like a helicopter going overhead. Wow, that's loud. Anyways, look at that, so pretty. A lot of interruptions during this video, sorry you guys. But this was very pretty. Look at that shimmer, so, so pretty. All right, guys, that was everything that I wore in December. I had a good month. Um, a lot of variety. I'm very happy with what I wore. Um, leave any questions, any comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.